my mind just cannot comprehend the fact that it will not turn back to normal. Uh, there's very unusual things happening, uh, like in Saudi Arabia, where in China or India, there is tornadoes that's unheard of. With such a growth in natural disasters, living will become impossible. In just five years, our lives could turn into a nightmare. I knew that um, the climate was really changing, um, but I guess I didn't know how fast it was changing. Look at the exponential extensions of the graph of earthquakes with a magnitude greater than three. See how the number of earthquakes has increased. If I looked at this data uh, three years ago, maybe in 2020, maybe I would have not been that convinced. But now in 2023, it's, again, it's an exponential growth. And you see that it's, there is no sign of it, the natural disasters uh, of it going back. This reality awaits us in the coming years due to our position within the cycle of external cosmic influence, heating our core and triggering the growth of cataclysmic avalanches of destruction. We can clearly see that by the time this impact subsides, nothing will be left alive on Earth, including the planet itself. Just like many people, I, uh, I still think that, oh, maybe things will just go back to normal uh, as, as things are. Um, maybe we'll be okay next year, but Again, just going back to this data of exponential growth, there is, there is no sign of going back. Look, if we stop lying to ourselves, what do we expect? If climate catastrophes happen, we expect that we'll be saved. We hope that there will be assistance. Remember Hawaii, the most terrible tragedy, that nightmare, abandoned and screaming people in the fire and no help from the authorities. There's so many families that died because they were sleeping. They didn't know. No text messages, nothing. We know that we have a very limited time with the, with the climate as well, you know, because uh, things are uh, progressing quite fast. But um, why keep trying? I mean, what is the alternative? The biggest survival problem for people is not the climate issue. It's the problem within us. The problem is a lack of humanity in each of us. People all around the world are engaged in building a creative society. But that's just a drop in the ocean because billions of us live on this earth and each one needs to be informed. And while many people hesitate to stress their mental faculties once more to understand the obvious and put two plus two together, Volunteers of the Creative Society around the world are doing everything they can because they truly understand the danger of our planet and we, along with it, are facing. You know, at the end of the day, it's our world. It's our responsibility. No politicians, only ourselves, uh, that can bring uh, these changes. I don't want to live in this world with this problem. I have, I have children. Uh, I, I care for myself. I care for my neighbors. I care for my colleagues. And as long as there's a little bit of chance left, even however, however little it is, maybe it's 1%, maybe it's 0.1%, but if there's a little bit of chance, why not try it? If you would uh, fast forward a couple years and you're faced with natural disasters, you're, you're about to, your life's about to perish, your family's uh, life's about to perish. Wouldn't you regret uh, making that decision that, oh, I had this chance at least to try, but I decided to do anything. You can watch the forum with no censoring on Creative Society channel on Rumble.